welcome back to the channel and today I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging because it's been a while since I vlogged as you probably know. If you don't know it's uh, because you are not subscribed so you get to subscribe and binge watch my videos because it's fun. <laughs> I know I did mention this in my previous video I'm just like being funny like that. Yes guys so Today is beautiful Monday. Oops, <laughs> there was my toe cracking, very nice. And I have to say, it's actually not so beautiful out there. It's quiet. <laughs> wow, so many birds, oh my goodness, my goodness. Why we have so many birds flying everywhere here? It's weird. Anyway guys, I am as now getting ready for hydrofacial. I purchased... <laughs> This camera is so heavy, so my hand is like shaking. I purchased a package of five hydrofacials. It's needed, my dear friends. I don't know if you're gonna see it. I have... Do you see this little friend here? Do you see that? I'm going to close this window because, guys, the birds out there. And as you know, I'm terrified that one of these suckers will come to the house and just take a vacation, you know? I am as well turning off the heat for a million time. Not so much fun in that kind of way. Anyway guys, I am getting ready to go for a hydrofacial. I purchased a package of five hydrofacials. So exciting. I'm so excited to clean these pores and put some HA in it, you know, because I feel like that's the perfect way to start spring. And perhaps a little bit of summer too. No, actually just spring because by summer we will be out of here. Um, what I was going to say, I purchased five. It came up to a little bit less than $500 for five treatments, guys. In Miami it's like $270 per one. <laughs> so I'm so excited. When I find out they had this pricing, I was just like, yeah, I need the whole package. So it's been quite a crazy morning. We woke up at 5.40. I'm exhausted. I'm like a little zombie. Anyway, let's get ready and I will hopefully be able to film a little bit of hydrofacial to my phone because I would love to show it to you. I mean, I think at this point we all know how to hydrofacial, right? But if you don't know it, let's do it. So anyway guys, I just got ready. I'm wearing my usual, uh, my coat from Sportmax, Avias Max Mara, my Selena handbag. I put on Alayoka tights because I want to be comfortable when I'm getting my facial and my Celine sneakers. <laughs> I put light on <laughs> over here. <laughs> my vlogging light so you can actually see me. Anyway guys, so this is the outfit. I thought I will be done with these coats, but I guess not yet. Anyway, so time to go get my facial and I'm quite comfortable in my outfit, which is great. Anyway guys, get to go. Oh my goodness, it's freezing cold. I really don't know what happened with spring, but I guess I will never get used to this weather, guys. It's freezing, freezing. It's sunny. Don't be fooled. It's freezing. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away Hello guys, I just came home from this facial. Oh my god, look at this skin. I have a light here so you can actually see me. First of all, oh, it's so cold outside. I arrived there totally frozen and I as well uh, left frozen. I was cold there the whole time. <laughs> Not the whole time. After, after she put this amazing sheet mask on my face, which I'm going to Google right now. Um, because that's what it had to be I think so, yes, here so this company this brand they use in this place is 
called ZO Skin Health but Zinc Baggy. Um, is this the mask? It must be the mask. I should have asked, but I know she used the other products from them. My husband got me orange juice. So sweet. I'm sorry. I'm like... <sighs> I ran back home because I had to go pee. <laughs> So anyway, I believe this is um, the mask she put on my face. I have to ask her next time I go. I have four more treatments. I already scheduled three more. Uh, guys, this is a glow which I was looking for. <laughs> I have to say, uh, Hydrofacial is one of the best facials out there without any questions. When people tell me they don't really like it, I'm just like, something wrong with you, maybe you went to the wrong place, go somewhere else. I've been doing hydrofacial since 2011. That's when I find out about it the first time. If you go to Czech Republic, you need to go to Ether Clinic for hydrofacial. I mean, the pricing is incredible. I mean, you totally can negotiate with them not to buy package, to try just one treatment. I actually originally wanted just one treatment, but then she told me we actually have a special package for five treatments. And when she told me the price, guys, I was just like, oh, I get it because <laughs> look at this. I think I passed out like three times. I don't know, guys. I'm feeling like a newborn. <laughs> and orange juice, so good. By the way, this place, bake shop in Prague, has one of the best orange juices and they have good americano coffee <laughs> i'm going to google this skincare because if the mask was so good she also used something uh, mask with like zinc oxide because i have like a hormonal breakout here and they've been there for like two weeks i actually got them after i was drinking for three days uh, the collagen dumped it it's garbage processed stuff it doesn't work for my skin that well guys so i would rather eat broccoli all day long <laughs> to get my proteins and um, i don't know what i'm gonna do for collagen i don't know but i'm not gonna be drinking um, processed collagen no more no powders for me because it literally messed up my skin in like 24 hours and the hormonal and the acne like stayed there and I didn't have that in years and years and years. So, yeah, it's from that. <laughs> anyway, guys, as we are here and I'm so glowy, I'm not going to put makeup on today because she told me actually not to put anything on. Not that I was planning to. But I'm going to show you what I got. What about that? Hmm? Do you want to see what I got? I'm sorry, I'm like in just a little tank top here because... I had to like throw my coat and everything off me because I needed to run to the bathroom. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got for the season. Why not? So I have it all here very elegantly on the floor. First I want to show you these shoes. You've seen them on my Instagram. But you've never seen them actually in a conversation with me. So what I wanted to show you is this. Gorgeous, gorgeous Yves Saint Laurent pumps. So this is a PVC, guys. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing on the world, absolutely not. But they are just so pretty. I mean, I love the shape of the heel. I don't have anything like this. And when you put it on your feet, this black detail coming from like the space, <laughs> it just makes your feet look so good. I have plenty of classic pumps. I don't like to wear them as much anymore and I have Louboutins, you know, I had more Louboutins which I sold. I have two or three Louboutins pumps, Socades and Pigals. I mean, they look gorgeous, but I wanted something 2023 and I don't like the full closure anymore. So, in, <laughs> so I thought this is quite unique kind of shoe. Are they comfortable? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think Saint Laurent shoes are meant to be like for comfort, you know, they're just meant to be good looking. Anyway guys, I got as well this lovely lovely Givenchy tights. I don't know if you're going to see it has like a 
the logo, I mean the, the brand name on the front and here as well is a little bit like the logo here they're, they're like uh, classic leggings tights but um, it, I wanted something to wear for like daytime and then because I don't always like to wear jeans and I didn't want to wear a little yoga <laughs> whole summer you know because it's okay for winter when you wear the coat but for summertime you know I like my tights I love my Yves Saint Laurent but the Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent whatever they don't have a opening for your feet so they like cover it and I am not the type of girl who is going to wear you know like a tights like that in open shoe I know people do it it's not my thing so I needed something new even I do have the one from uh, Balenciaga but the Balenciaga is a little too shiny to be worn for a daytime they are better for evening and I wanted something for a daytime so this is like matte kind of fabric and it feels very comfortable on they say it was high waist um, for me to be high waist I needed like one more inch the next thing I wanted to show you is this very classic as you can see I didn't wear it yet it still has the ticket on this little Dolce Gabbana dress I love the straps can you see the detail it's so lovely this is just a very classic black little dress which I am going to be killing it with <laughs> in Miami because this is like perfect for the you know for the heat of Miami the humidity because I don't like in summertime to have this covered and I hate to have things to, on my neck tight even in winter time something about it makes me claustrophobic even like the necklace is too tight it bothers me so I am all about dresses which are open like this and I'm loving this one and then guys a little pop of color in my life Ta-da! You see this dress on me already on uh, my Instagram, but I haven't talked about it yet. <laughs> so this dress is from ALC. It has a little corset here on inside, so it holds you right here like perfectly. It has a little pockets here, so it gives you this amazing hourglass shape, which is too dark for honestly. And it's like mid-length dress. It has little slit here. I just thought this is like the perfect perfect cocktail dress with the girlfriends or you know just going for brunch for like to like nice place like I don't know we like to go to the Four Seasons in Surfside which is like this new Four Seasons hotel which people dress very elegantly there or when we go to Zuma for brunch you know or something like that or not really Cipriani, we are not, we don't like Cipriani guys, do you like Cipriani? I think the food is horrible, horrible, the ice cream, good, the food, are you kidding me? I mean we stay in Cipriani hotel in New York, that was interesting stay, we have stayed in much better hotels before, for the price we could do much better, but the, the restaurant gorgeous looking, right? horrible food horrible food and i used to live in a building which has cipriani in miami and we never been there now i know why and you know my husband always told me before that he hates cipriani <laughs> the next thing guys you see as well me already wearing is this amazing hoodie from Aloe yoga this amazing this amazing neon color i'm all about it for spring i am just like obsessed with it they still have it in a uh, aloe yoga website i shop at the european version of lululemon right now no aloe yoga lululemon guys um you see it has like a warming thing here so it's not very thin so it's good for spring for the beginning of spring and it's short so it's just gonna give you like you know you know the look which we all like as well as you could see i got myself converse guys I am so excited it took me forever to decide which one I want I almost purchased the one from Comte de Carson Comte de Carson Comte de Carson am I saying it correctly with the hearts you know with like the big heart uh, they're still available in my sides I still am deciding if I should get it or no by the way this style with the black in the back 
which is I believe called the Chuck 70. These are a little bit more expensive. Um, they have two exactly the same, <laughs> same styles, but this one has like a cushioned shaped cushion inside of the shoe. So comfortable. I had before the cheaper version like many years ago and I hated it. I had blisters, I was crying the whole time. This is so, so comfortable. So I'm thinking I will take them with me to Paris. I was considering buying like a, <laughs> the Converse looking shoe from Hermes and then Dior because the Hermes was not available. And I'm so happy I didn't spend thousand dollar on sneakers again, guys, because I can tell you, I do love my Celine sneakers, but they are very warm for summer. And as well, they got a little bit beat up over one season of wearing and that's to me a big no-no for a thousand technically how much per day 600 700 dollar shoe like no so i wanted to try something timeless something different and i saw valeria lipovinsky wearing those in her family trip <laughs> and i was like i like this cream color i didn't care for the white because i don't like the bright bright white and I really wanted a black one, but then when I saw this cream color, I was just like, must have, must have, super comfortable. Then I got some things from Zara, guys. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I got something from Zara. But I wanted jeans. Um, and I just don't like many jeans. <laughs> And I want a slim fit, so I got these are super elastic. That's what I like about Zara, the jeans are quite elastic. Um, this is size 38, just like high-waisted denim, light gray. I have it as well in black somewhere, cannot find it. But I just got this one and I love the tone of the gray. I just loved it. I think it's going to look great with the Converse actually. Which is like tank top, you know. I'm looking at tank tops right now at... Uh, Maximo Duty, Maximo, I think Maximo Duty is the name. Some very nice things there, even like summer dresses, like the linen things, oh, so pretty. Then I as well got different kind of shape jeans, guys. I will show you in the blue because the dark gray doesn't show well. I got like this kind of blue as well, high waisted. They are like a little bit more on the mummy style jean not something i usually will buy i will not buy jeans like this from like my usual denim brand because i don't want to spend 400 dollars on denim which uh, i may won't be wearing by next year or maybe i will be wearing just for house you know or something like that or running errands because I don't usually wear denim of this shape, but I just thought it looked kind of cool with like sandals because it's a little bit higher as well. So I think it's gonna look very cute with like my little Hermes slip-ons or I'm actually looking for some nice sandals. Uh, not the one I posted on my Instagram, hell no. I'm looking for something which is different. I was looking at Rondini Saint-Tropez, but um, I just don't know the sizing anymore. I did have a few of them, but it just didn't size the size didn't stick to my head so i got these jeans in blue and as well this dark gray which looks black on the camera these are things which i collected in the past i would say three months the shoes i got in december but i never really showed you so yeah guys um i think i'm just going to clean this up and i'm waiting for the food to be delivered and then i'm going to create something to eat because i'm getting a little hungry and yeah Hello guys, still in this glow, loving it. I am at the moment cooking dinner, which will be a salad. So I have like a different mix of lettuces and I created a mustard, olive oil, lemon dressing for it. And then as well I have, and then as well I have this mix here, which is like corn, hard boiled egg, um, Greek cheese, no, I mean feta cheese, avocado, corn, onion, tomatoes, 
and I'm going to put that as a topping on this and as well I'm cooking chicken which is as well red paprika, Hungarian paprika and mustard so this will be the dinner for today and as well lunch <laughs> because I didn't have a lunch I just had like a, what did I eat today? I had breakfast but I didn't have lunch so this was like lunch dinner because it's uh, 3 o'clock so let's finish this cooking and let's eat because I'm starving We just came home from the gym and we went through our usual stop to Masna alias a butcher shop. Um, I got my favorite blueberry drinks, babuvka, chick pastry. And some other goodies. Good morning guys, uh, today is Wednesday, I didn't have much chance to vlog yesterday because I was not feeling good, I mean not sure what's going on but people like to cough and sneeze in this country <laughs> and not to cover their face, yeah so and I passed by a few people who were like coughing animals out of their chest what is going on with this population here? Anyway, so it's morning. I just finished my workout because home workout because we didn't feel like going to the gym today. I was not feeling, you know, 100%. And yesterday I was doing cardio actually and I got a little bit dizzy, like very, not dizzy, but like exhausted on the treadmill and I was just like, oh, boo, boo, what's going on? So I wanted to sleep. A little bit longer today. I did some workout in the house. That's why I'm still wearing my my workout gear. And I'm gonna take a shower, but first this. <laughs> I'm just going to tighten up my skin because I've been a little slacking with this. I don't know why. It's like magic. Anyway, but first, guys, I want to take all my vitamins. So this is turmeric which I've been taking for multiple years. By the way, I'm sitting, I brought a chair to be comfortable because I was doing some squats and <laughs> my legs need to break. Vitamin D, which is must have for me these days. This is a probiotic and I'm looking at it, it's half empty. Why would they do that? It's a Czech brand. <laughs> Nothing against my people, but it's half empty. <laughs> and this, guys, is um, oyster mushroom. It's a multivitamin, it has vitamin C in it, and it's supposed to be really good for you. I have magnesium as well, and this detox pill I like to take later, but I also want to take some psyllium today, so I'm like going to take this now 
then I'm gonna drink the psyllium a little bit later and then I will have the rest of the vitamins probably a little bit later in the day. This is as well like my third or fourth cup of water. As well I'm going to be testing this shampoo today. It's Nizral Expert and it's supposed to be for like you know flaky skin. It's better when I'm using my P50 but it's still not perfect so it's a journey for me here guys. It's a journey. Erase level 2 intensity. Let's go back. $3.99, that's the maximum. Me. I would like more. <laughs> Just kidding, but I do. Anyway, guys, I'm going to use my gel, which is bioactive anti aging gel. It's the most difficult thing to wash off your face, by the way. The most difficult. So I use it. Wow, what's going on in the hallway? <laughs> I use it on my forehead, not that I have wrinkles on my forehead but guys, I'm trying to get rid of the Botox and as well, like here, I will be stretching some of the muscles around the lip area and let's go I start usually here so this is the erase part, which is like stretching the lines, you know. You have erase and educate. Educate is making things tighter. This is making things stretched. And I like to stretch the little, you know, lines around my lips. And I really noticed when I do this, this the way you're supposed to do, you can technically use it every two days if you want to. I really notice big, big difference with this. Uh, we had a date night the other day and I used this today and my husband is like, you're looking fantastic tonight. I was just like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> so I have to use this more often. I mean, you know, let's not lie to each other. I am 38 years old, you know? Things are not the same as they used to be. If you wonder how many moves you should do, really up to you guys, really up to you. There is really no guidance with that. It, the way it feels, but once you work one side, Make sure you do the same amount of moves on the other side. I think that's all what I will tell you to do right now. So these are the muscles I'm trying to wake. But later on I will do different eyebrow moves, which are with the educate level. I like them better. But this is necessary as well. This is actually much more than I usually do. I usually much faster with the erase part. I prefer the educate. Always check on your contactivity because it's important. So now educate level two. With the educate, I have to be a little bit more on the lower. So 372 should be just enough guys the gel I buy on the MyoLift website they sell them I'm not gonna lie this chair thing is so comfortable
Okay guys, so that's it. That's a little 30 minutes treatment. Not something I enjoy doing every day. It's really kind of annoying, but works. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to take a shower now, wash my hair and do a skincare. And guys, I think I will have to create something to eat because I'm starving. Starving, darling! I just took a shower, as you can see, I used the shampoo which created this. <laughs> Uh, the shampoo created a lot of foam, guys, which I don't usually get used to. So, it's different. You know what, before I apply that to my hair, I will apply my placenta serum. I just dropped it on my leg. Great. I love to base things like that. Not. <laughs> so, I also realized in the shower, that this is not just exhaustion, I'm feeling something on my chest. So I think I'm going down to something, which means a tea, a lot of tea with honey. And I do have medications, so that's fine. Now let's see how is this shampoo. It has salicylic acid, guys, which means I think it could be a little bit drying for the hair. They say it's everyday shampoo. I mean, shampoo with salicylic acid should not be everyday hair shampoo, but okay. I mean, it's not like I wash my hair every day, but I think once or twice per week I could see before I tell you the final verdict, but I have to say my scalp is a little bit itchy. <laughs> Don't know why. I didn't use P50 capillary before the shampoo because I didn't want to mix, you know, that together with it because I really want to know how is this shampoo going to work. But my hair is definitely more tangled than if I use my usual shampoos, so... So for those asking, what I use for my body is this at the moment, guys. Is Eve Rocher um, multi purpose moisturizing dry oil. So, <laughs> the whole winter I've been trying different oils. Well, <laughs> before that, I had argan oil, which I use as well all over my body. But I was putting a few drops of this one to a moisturizer, just basic moisturizer, I think special, I would say. But this uh, oil, which is taking up on the floor, it's pretty good actually. I'm really impressed by it. Um, I already applied placenta serum. <laughs> so, yeah, my forehead got double shot very well. <laughs> so, it's fine because why not? Elastin, I think I will run out by next month, oh, which will make me to buy more. So I actually tried to buy some biologic research from Rescue Spa, but I already was like in the process of clicking guys to, you know, to pay. And it says that I have two products in the basket, which are not, you know, allowed to be shipped to Europe. And there was only two I was buying. It was face cream and serum but i'm glad i didn't buy the serum because after the hydrofacial my pores are so clean it was the serum which is for like breakouts so i keep hitting this shelves here so my skin is completely completely in perfect condition right now so i saw the breakout i had here guys gone i'm going to buy the zeo mask 100% but I'm going to use it just as a spot treatment because I think it's too aggressive to put it all over my face but if you have a friend who has like deep acne still will not put it on all over face I will just like dip it on each pimple you know and leave it there for like I don't know how long it's recommended 15 minutes 
that's exactly what I will do. Which this is C serum. Okay. My skin cell C serum, my dear friends, you know that's something is a must even if you live in winter weather. You know, this is not just for sun protection, it's for the environment. Like, sun is shining even if it's cloudy, honestly. Even we don't see it, so we get upset, it's still there. <laughs> so, just so you know, just so you know. I love the smell of the salami. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. And as well, I like to, like, put it to my hands because you see no pigmentation guys and I never actually use any like specific hand creams for like hands pigmentation and I live in Miami I do tan my hands Boop -boop. only what I do is the vitamin C not all the time either sometimes I forget but I mean once you have it in your hands you know do it do it as well I do use a lot of, of <laughs> creams on my hands but I saw what I have noticed uh, when we were in Miami because I had like a burn here from iron which was like it kind of look like shape of eight like the lucky eight <laughs> it's like I don't think you're gonna see it now it's here so I was using argan oil on it and it healed super fast we skipped the blister part because I didn't burn it very badly <laughs> and um, the pigmentation lightened up very fast. As well, I had some burns on my hands before from the iron, as well, disappeared in like a week or so with argan oil. And I was using the one which is made for face from Osea, which is California brand. Guys, I'm testing this little goodie because it's about to expire. Next month is the last month I can use it. Oh, yes, actually, April. So I'm just like, okay. It's time to get rid of samples which may won't be good in a few days. As I'm not getting any more samples, I have to do this. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any more. Oh, there is more. Just kidding. So this is the Environ face cream called Focus Care Youth Plus. I had it as a sample from Shop Rescue when I was buying back in the days. So anyway guys, yesterday we had a um, gentleman coming to our home to do estimates of our furniture and clothes and he's like, yeah, this is going to be like a big move. And we're like, we have only two different things than we had before and two things we are not taking with us. So, the old sofa, which is in my husband's office, we are not taking that, we are giving it to Goodwill. The broken, broken all it's broken, so the broken um, TV stand, which breaks my heart. Not just because it was like $4,000, no, but not because of that. But because that was like the first luxurious furniture I purchased with my own money. And they broke it. Anyway, so it's going to be a little bit annoying. We requested four people to come to move us. Because when we were moving here, they sent only two guys and one was super weak. And I swear he was the one who dropped the TV stand. Because I saw him dropping other things. I was like, I, if I can lift it and you can't, then you should not be a mover. So yes guys, this is the skincare for the daytime. I'm going to make something to eat. I'm going to put a hoodie on and make lunch breakfast for us because it's the time and I'm sure husband is starving. <laughs> anyway guys, yeah, tomorrow I have pedicure. Hopefully I'm feeling better because I don't want to get people sick. I could wear a face mask. I don't mind to wear a face mask, honestly. I have plenty of the big ones, which were like the 95 and 95. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna use mask on my face when I'm there so I don't get anyone sick. Anyway guys, time to go. Dry this hair, put some clothes on, breakfast time. And I also have to put this to my scalp. I'm running out, going to buy a new one for sure. That's the product I love. <laughs> it gives 
hair is something special. Anyway, get to go. I'm here for a pedicure today.